One, two, three, four, five pins in the new Pondering Spooky Tapes pin set. Ah, ah, ah. Our new spooky scary pin set is out now. It includes Brendan, Mandy, Billy, Ten, and PSD logo pins for $12. Check it out at pleasestopshopping.com. That's pleasestopshopping.com. And now, on to the scares. In the deepest and darkest of woods, where not even the light of the moon can penetrate, two vile creatures indulge in dark delights and have conquered their comrades into capitulation. Now they wander these lands watching scary cinema. There's a good chance you're next. Mandalore and Billy invite you to ponder some spooky tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Pondering Spooky Tapes. It's time to feast or famine. Are you ready to gorge yourself on Gorgo? <laughs> Gorgo Lives, 1961's Gorgo, directed by Eugène Lourier, who is basically a slop fiend, just non-stop fucking monster movies from the 60s. Down there in the pig mud. Oh yeah, he's, he's like trudging through that fucking sludge and gruel, baby, and he's bringing you monster flicks up the ass. <laughs> Wait, Stop. introduce the director. The sloppy. Can't fiend. believe we're getting into Gorgo sloppy style. I'm sorry, but he kind of is a slop fiend. He basically did a lot of like 60s genre cinema, but like stuff that was real lowbrow, you know? Like it wasn't like he didn't do crazy stuff. I do respect the man a lot. I'm going to get into why I do, but I just want to get into the other actors, all that. There's Bill Travers playing. Joe Ryan? Which one is Joe again? There's there's the two dads. There's the two dads. They're basically one the same character. Joe. Yeah. Also starring William Sylvester, also known for 2001 A Space Odyssey. And the kid Sam, played by Vincent Winter, winner of an honorary Oscar at age nine for the movie The Little Kidnappers. I figured it would not be for this. <laughs> well, yeah. No, he was not that bad kid. I, I know, he was kind of shit, actually. I just remember that. Yeah, I just had this moment where I remember the scene where he goes, Sam, wake up, wake up, Sam, Sam, wake up for like two yeah. minutes. After, okay. after Sam gets his ass beat for getting drunk and trying to release the bees. Stop it, Sam, you're crazy. Sam! 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 Are you alright, Sam? Sometimes we all just get a little whiskey drunk and let the monster out. <laughs> I didn't know that um, you could get honorary Oscars until today, if I'm honest. If you're too young, you can't win an Oscar. You can only win really? an honorary Oscar. Yeah. That is interesting. It's fucked up. I don't like it. You must be 18 or older to get this award. I know I talked shit about Eugène Lourier, but he actually was a nominee for a, an Oscar for his movie Krakatoa. Look at that. Uh, this movie was originally going to be called Kuru Island. K-U-R-U -U Island. And it was actually supposed to take place in Japan, on in one of the little small islands near Japan. I was about to say, did they... Did they not because they thought it'd be too Japanese? Like they no, thought it'd no, be it was. Here's the thing: this was actually supposed to be a co-production with Japan. Oh, interesting. Oh. This movie was written by uh, Eugène Laurier. He, uh, he's a French director. He was supposed to do the movie in co-production with Japan because he did two other movies before then. Who were he's basically like the giant monster guy. Like if you wanted a, a giant monster movie. He was your guy. He did Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know. I, I, I said he's a slop fiend, but like, <laughs> it's like good slop. It's like that. It's like you feel good. It's feel good stuff, you know? You love to watch it. Gargo Notorious features. feel good movie. I mean, yes, it is, because the monster doesn't <laughs> die at the end. Ding dong. Hey, spoiler. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, he did that. He did the giant behemoth. He did Colossus of New York. Like, basically, th this is the guy you would go to for genre film in the 50s and 60s. Gorgo was his last directorial role because of tensions with the King Brothers Productions. So, tensions. We are getting into the fucking thick of it now because there's the. Oh, God. I, there's so much. The King Brothers are a lot. 
King Brothers are a production company uh, that were active around the f- like from 41 to 66, I think. I should have taken a note. I just kind of vaguely remember. The brothers were Frank, Maurice, and Herman. Uh, and King Brothers Productions was very famous for employing blacklisted writers during the Red Scare because oh, they were smart. also they were also Russian. And Eugène Lourier was a French Russian director, I believe. Uh, so he was actually blacklisted because of the Red Scare, and that's how he was able to make Gorgo. So the King Brothers have are very notorious for uh, being criminals. Oh! (laughs) (laughs) Here's a cool one. So, when they form King Brothers Productions uh, in 41, that was one year after all of them and their sister got charged with tax evasion and tax fraud. Oh, but that's not like a real crime. Gorgo commits tax fraud? It's a fun crime, but they also did other crimes. Most movie studios commit tax fraud. Yeah, I know. It's just funny that Right after that, they were like, where can we siphon our money? Ah, Hollywood. And baby, they fucking did it. They absolutely did it. There's the famous Peter Jackson audit where New Line Cinema doesn't let their directors audit them anymore. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Because... Yeah, it, it, I can't remember the specifics of it, but he thought something was funky with the budget for Lord of the Rings during production. And it turned out some executives were spending a bunch of money on, like, cobras and shit. They were buying nice cars. Oh, so yeah, like, gotcha. snake. Cool snake. And so they gave him the money he wanted, and they said, by the way, no one's allowed to audit us ever again. Wait, was, were cobras... How expensive is a? Well, I don't car? know. I don't know what kind of car it was. But they were buying like oh, they were buying a, a fancy Cobra cars. Car. Okay, I thought like a snake. Yeah, I was like, yeah. These motherfuckers no, are no, going I around also, pet shops. I also just, thought the snake. <laughs> they're selling out pet shops to the fucking Cobras. Lord of the Rings money. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's obsessed. Who fucking knows? It's gonna look like that scene from Pee Wee's Big Adventure where he goes in and grabs all the snakes from the fire, but it's just executives <laughs> smoking big cigars covered in snakes. <laughs> So one of the oh, yeah. big things about this movie, Gorgo, Gorgo, it's huge. Yeah, very big. Well, <laughs> yeah. it depends which Gorgo. We got a we got a dual Gorgo action in this movie, which is fucking there were sick. Gorgos. Uh, one of the big things though is that at first it wasn't there was no violence in the movie. So How? okay, yeah, no, I, that is I'm dead fucking ass. insane. I'm dead ass, and it's crazy because this movie is man. They Gorgo goes through it. Gorgo goes through it. <laughs> but originally, uh, Eugène wrote this movie because when he went to a screening with his, uh, with his uh, like six-year-old daughter of The Beast of a th- uh, 20,000 Fathoms, after, after they exited the movie theater, on the ride home in the car, uh, his daughter started crying and calling him a bad man and a bad father because in the movie, B- the Beast of a, a Twenty Thousand Fathoms actually gets like fucking destroyed and killed, and the, he basically promised to her on the spot that he would write another monster movie where the monster survives and it would be a feel good movie, like a kids movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny seeing it what Gordon yeah. became. Basically what happened was when he got hired to make Gorgo, the King brother the King's brothers, they were basically like, This is not going this fucking this fucking garbage is not gonna sell if there's no explosions. So they basically added all the stock footage of military action and a bunch they got like two other writers, uh Robert L. Richards and Daniel James to go get on board and add a shit ton of plot points that go nowhere and a bunch of ra- like they basically added the entire scene with the um you know like the 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 boat with the where they just shoot at him for like five minutes oh, the straight. Destroyer yeah. That's, yeah. yeah so they added a bunch of scenes like that and they God added guns because at first it was only supposed to be like the little scenes with the fire and the nets. It wasn't supposed to have anything else in that. It was just torches would be the most Gorgo would deal with. Wow. Yeah, that's all it was. Let's ask for your opinion. What did you guys think of Gorgo? Gorgo is what people who have not watched Godzilla think Godzilla is like. Yeah. It is an hour. I mean, we get Gorgo in about the first, I want to say, three minutes of the movie. They're they're very quick to show Gorgo. Gorgo. Gorgo is like... It's, he's in it from start to finish. He's yeah. the star of the show. They, they do a bit of the King Kong thing, and they bring him into the big city. And then Gorgo gets loose, and then it's 45 minutes of the army shooting Gorgo while Gorgo Actually, breaks Actually, I was going to say, this movie is not even based off of Godzilla at all. 
which I it, it, it sounds was more like, like King bullshit, Kong. but it is it is it's because of Mighty Joe Young. This movie oh, okay. exists so because of another yeah. It, so it was like I mean, my, Mighty Joe Young is fucking the the original, not the ninety eight Mighty well, Joe yeah. Young, <laughs> but the original uh, f- movie from the four like forties. It got re released on television, and because of that, they re they also re released king kong in color on tv and people started like freaking out and monster mania happened and that's why uh, the king brothers were like we need gorgo and that does explain why gorgo had no how because we were all waiting for like a breath or a no, laser yeah, he, or something he's just an animal yeah we, we all were like when's he gonna get the you know the breath or he's, he needs like the, the missile, power. missile toes that never happened yeah it is yeah, really fucked toes. up it is really fucked up that jfk literally was on television yelling gorgo to the polls that is Thank fucked you. up. Oh my that God. did happen in the middle of this movie. That's true. Yeah, no, I fucking love this movie. I, I, I feel like I was really cynical. Here's a backstory with me and Gorgo. I, I'm, I'm a bit of a cynical little fuck. I, I bought this DVD at the, um, it was this like used media place we went to where we got Brandon. You got that one, uh, Massacre, Massacre in Dinosaur, Dinosaur, Valley. Dinosaur Valley. Yeah, you know, like... Massacre and Rape Valley. <laughs> pretty much. God damn, that yeah. movie is rapey as hell. It's funny, though. Not the rape. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's a funny movie. Uh, you know, the rest of it is funny. You just, like, shield your eyes when the bad stuff Was happens. there even a dinosaur in that movie? No. There were dinosaur the- footprints. Yeah, and then they see them, and they're like, "Oh my god, dinosaurs were here!" And then they never show one. They never show a dinosaur. There was a there was a tri- there was like a a a a, a an uninhabited or an unexplored island and then like bad guys abducted the people exploring the island and they were like making drugs and stuff yeah. there was also a tribe on the island and i think the only dinosaur thing was there was a guy um wearing a dinosaur mask and that i think was it. so yeah some horse shit what a, dude what a fucking dumbass weird movie either way i got that movie there and the only reason why i got gorgo is because poster art that says like nothing you've ever seen before gorgo (laughs) and i thought gorgo was the funniest fucking thing ever (laughs) gorgo is such a stupid fucking name for a movie and i bought a copy and then i got home and when we got home the same month as i got this copy of gorgo vinegar syndrome re-released the movie in 4k limited edition and I had to get it. So then I got the Vinegar Syndrome version of Gorgo. And then I was like, fuck it. What's more? What's one more Gorgo? And then I bought another Blu-ray of Gorgo. And I just kind of own a shit ton of copies of Gorgo because I thought the name was funny. And it was all cynicism. It was all like just, oh, it's a, it's a Godzilla it's, movie. It's like Norbit. Yeah, it's like Norbit. Norbit's funny because it's called Norbit. And also Raspuchia is hilarious, but <laughs> let's not get into it. I mean, not like I would know. I've never seen the movie, but I'm sure she's How fucking you hilarious. <laughs> How you do? How See, you that's do? A- I only, we talked about this real quick. I only know like two scenes. I know th- I know when she goes, How you doing? And I know when she uh you know the goes down slide. the slide. Yeah. That's the only two scenes and that was enough for me to start a collection. But either way, it all came from cynicism. I always, always like, ah, it's just another Godzilla ripoff. But then doing my research, actually watching the movie and learning that it was just a dad making a movie for his daughter and then studio meddling happened. It kind of made me, I, 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 I fuck with Gorgo, you know, and I, 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 I'm less cynical about it. It's it, like it was, it was made for it a purpose. And I like that. I do like Gorgo. And also, Gorgo is a very funny movie because it kind of aged like shit. I, it's charming. My favorite parts of Gorgo, it, like overall, one, it's charming, two, the miniatures, and three, the sheer amount of rubble falling onto oh people. Oh, my this God. is incredible. A fucking shot of people getting smashed by rubble, like every minute. Gorgo's kill count was so high. London subway, everybody like takes refuge in there. And Gorgo just fucking stomps down and kills like <laughs> 900 people or some shit. I, it was like, maybe not 900, but like, you know, it was It was so like packed. 80 to 100 yeah. people it was stuffed so in the subway. Packed, and he just fucking kills all of them. Dude, this movie has a high The newscaster's out. like, oh, you've had more people die in London than during the Blitz. Like, it's like yeah. nothing we've ever seen <laughs> before. Did. What's the Blitz? Actually, what's the bl- Blitz? That, that was when the Germans did. were bombing yeah. Uh, yeah, no. London during World War II. Let me see. Blitz, blitz <laughs> death. The Blitz. <laughs> you want to compare the Blitz uh, to how many people killed? 43,000. Oh my god! 43,000. So, 
I, I don't. Killed. I don't think he was making a direct one to one comparison. No, no, he was. You're dumb. You're so dumb. If you <laughs> I think. think. It, I think it was how fucked up London was. Gorgo wiped fifty thousand people in the blink of an eye, and the world just fucking watched. My, my favorite is when he had that bridge and was like shaking it. And those two guys just got <laughs> <laughs> overlaid and realize. fell. Yeah. Oh, dude, the mats awesome. are the mat overlays are incredible. Fucking in this. funny. To be fair, every special effect in Gorgo is just ugh, amazing. The suit is fucking sick. I <laughs> like, dude. No, I like. It looks stupid, but the inside of the suit, how they got the moving parts and everything, z- like they couldn't do any electronics. It's all hydraulic. So I saw were, like there's like fish wire at one point. I think on the eyebrows for it. I, mean, I noticed he was going to the water. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I, I think so, but most of it was. Uh, I, I think for the water suit, they didn't want to damage the hydraulics. Oh, but okay, yeah. When when it's like going around destroying Piccadilly Circus, that like there's hydraulics and everything is controlled by the guy in the suit with like different with like his fingers and mouths. That's why he like he wiggles his fingers a lot. It's because he's controlling the eyes and mouth going up and down. And also there's lights in there. Dude, it's such an insane like showcase of special effects. It's really, really cool. Dude, Billy, it actually oh yeah. They sell a $40 plush? Gorgo plush. <gasps> oh my god! It's pretty He's cute. so cute. You could buy small Gorgo real. You, yeah, you could buy baby Gorgo. We love baby Gorgo. Who the fuck is Matt Frank? <laughs> uh-huh. I guess I guess we should explain about the baby Gorgo, because that's yeah, kind we, of we were very yeah. underwhelmed with Gorgo at first. The, Gorgo the, the, the creature. The, the, the first, there are two Gorgo. The first one, small, big one, tall, mom and child. The first one's driven back by several dozen Irish people throwing torches at him over and over Just again. From a, a multitude of different bonfires, it was an yeah. insane scene. I think they used the guns once. Yeah. yeah, and they don't reload. They, <laughs> they just drop them and say, "Start chucking torches." They fire and off torches like three only volleys. do one d four damage. So what's the fucking point? Like they just turn around and there's like a small pile. You can count the number of torches. There might be like what ten. But then they're and landing in his mouth and shit. There's like just a tiny few, and then they zoom out and there's a shit ton of fucking <laughs> torches, and they're all like, "Dude, there's so many torches. The screen is full of them." And they're just chucking it at the camera. It's so fucking just funny. Just this amazing aerial shot of dozens of people throwing torches. It looks like a volley one, of arrows. There are so many torches. There's one that lands in the fucking suit's mouth. <laughs> so Dude, many torches. I thought I was on mouth. our flashlights. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so fucking funny, dude. But yeah, no, they, they, they discover baby Gordo. Gordo? Gordo. Baby Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> Fat baby. Yeah, they, they discover baby Gorgo in the Nara, Nara, Nara Islands in uh, Ireland, which Ted Not a real mentioned. Place, yeah. But it is Aaron backwards. <laughs> yeah. Might be Aaron Islands. No, they, they didn't they didn't want to pick one of them or something, or they didn't want to yeah. be specific, so they were like, just fucking flip it around. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Either way, they find they they find baby Gorgo and they just kind of start fucking like get antagonizing it. And uh they are the whole townspeople are they're they're all pissed because they lost a lot of torches, I guess. I don't know why they they're did. so mad. Why are they so <laughs> mad? They throw all the fucking torches in the ocean. I think there's no they didn't heating anymore. Be where a giant monster just came out of the water. I mean, I guess yeah. that I, I guess that'd be scary, but it, all it all it did was come out, to scare them a little bit, and then just go back in the water. They've only got so many torches. I mean, I guess they did. Di- they did dive after it to provoke it even more. <laughs> they did. Let's find where Gorgo is and catch it. Harbor Master was like, "I'll deal with it," and then he got Joe and Sam, the two lovable goofballs that. Uh, basically constantly antagonize Gorgo through the movie. And also just at some point stole that little kid named Sean. Yeah, they just kind of steal yeah. a child and adopt him. And <laughs> it's But it's okay because it was an orphan. Because when they yeah. land in town, they're like, hey, do you know where the Harbor Master is? And at first you think he might be the Harbor Master. Yeah, the so little why don't kid. you say so? Yeah, I, I also thought it was the little kid at first because all I've seen of... in like, I, I never watched the movie before. I, I just saw the behind the scenes where... Uh, the director kept being like, "Oh, it's it's a kids movie. I, I made it for my kid." And I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like the little boy's gonna be the main character." But then it ended up 
not at all fucking being like that. <laughs> like, not at all. They might be like friends with Morgan. Uh, if you want to dock your ship, you're going to be paying me in candy, you see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Don't hurt Gorgo. He's my friend. He helps oh, us oh, dig oh. wells. <laughs> Gorgo doesn't Don't do hurt shit. Gorgo or I'll fine you. <laughs> Could have been good. Just finds him. It'd be so great if he just pulled out. All right, check. Now, you got to pay me. Take money orders. <laughs> Joe and Sam just kind of decide to get in a big sea suppository in the water and like. It's like a cocktail one shaker. One of them gets in the big cocktail <laughs> shaker and we talked a lot about Iron Lung. It yeah. Kind of, I mean, it has the same vibe, like tinted red. Tinted red and it's Iron Lung. And also it was sealed from the outside. <laughs> Announcing yeah. right now that Asylum is going to be making a movie just like Iron Lung, but they're calling it Bronze Kneecap and they're casting me. <laughs> <Bronze> <laughs> That's the guy from uh, The Crimson Chin. Fairly Odd Parents, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. That was a guy. Either way, they capture that. They capture that fucking thing. With just regular fishing nets. <laughs> yeah. Regular Which nets. And, you know, like, I love 60s movies because, like, you don't have to worry about the depth or the pressure or, like, alarms oh, no, blaring. No, no, no. Well, they, they do talk about it at one point. They're like, when they're depth pull charging, me up Gorgo. quickly. Yeah, they're like, pull me up quickly. I'm going to, the pressure is building up. Pull me up quickly, which is like, I feel like, isn't that the worst thing you could do? I feel like it, yeah, you get the bends. I feel like it wasn't the water pressure. I feel like it was the big monster squeezing it. I mean, I guess if it. it is at that point, it is, it is like, I might get the bends, but I'll definitely die if I stay here with Gorgo. Gorgo wasn't even doing anything. Gorgo was just yeah. kind of holding the Gorgo was, giant was, Gorgo was, was like a giant with him. kid going, ah, toy. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it, Gorgo was holding it, was holding the cocktail shaker and shaking it. He was like making a fucking tasty drink. Tasty what an amazing drink. analog to baby geniuses. Big baby want a hug, but so does big Gorgo. Oh, you no, fucking about baby geniuses. shut the fuck up. <laughs> What was the baby? What was baby want a hug called big again? Big baby want a hug. Was baby was geniuses too the one where there were Nazi babies? Or am I misunderstanding? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Baby geniuses one had the uh, if you're yeah. and you don't know where to go to. I don't and they know made where a bunch fashion fits. Button on the Ritz. That, that that shut me down for a second. <laughs> yeah, no, that that shut me down. And also, I saw that the. Uh, the Gorgo, there's a Gorgo statue that comes with the little cocktail mixer that he can hold, which is very cool. Oh, I like cute. that. That's cute. I th I really like Gorgo's little design. It, he's a he's a cute little fucking thing, you know. You know, at the like beginning of the movie, I was really expecting them to expound on the weird fish and the volcanic rock explosion. Oh um, yeah, the, the trench fish. Oh, they, they found. I, I, fucked yeah, up. They they discover like weird fucked up fish, and I'm like, okay, are we gonna be getting into some gorgo ecology here? Are they gonna call out scientists? And it's like, nah, steal this kid, put him in a pit, <laughs> wait for his mom to come. <laughs> That's true. They put I, gorgo in the fucking gorgo pit. They put gorgo in the gorgo pit. I, at first, I thought he was happy because he was like splashing around, but then they added the sad noises, so I knew he was sad. They just, like, netted Gorgo up and put him on the boat and then put a tent over him. He just went to sleep, like, the whole time. Bless they paraded him through London, too. Like They, they drugged him up. <laughs> they, 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 they drugged him up for the London part. That scene is fucking real funny, though. When they just parade him around in a giant fishnet, it looks like he's cozy and, <laughs> and just having a little bit of a, EP, a, a little nap. He's on a truck that just says Gorgo in big yellow yeah, letters. Yeah, the, the Gorgo tarp. The big Gorgo tarp. <laughs> So they had the Gorgo cool. buses. Yeah. Like the British public <laughs> thinks that Gorgo might be bullshit, but we promise he's real. And then they just I'm parade right him around. Now. Pay five shillings to see Gorgo yourself in the Gorgo pit. <laughs> and and it was disgusting the disgusting sewer we dug up. Saddest little Gorgo pit that I've ever seen. <laughs> you, it was like an actual sewer drain and... area. It was really gross. The, the actor in the suit just like dances around while the fucking. <laughs> The, well, the public e eats peanuts and laughs. Well, the English children gape and poggers at him and eat their ice cream. Oh, they they do be they do be gaping and poggering. <laughs> there was the uh, there was the one kid in the audience during the Gorgo Pit scene where the dad was like holding her slightly over the railing, and the whole time I was like, oh my god, is he gonna drop her? Oh in my the Gorgo god, pit? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, that Gorgo Pit. Yeah, yeah, fucking ape attack survivor. Fuck that Gorgo attack survivor. The, Let's go. Nineteen sixty one is the sixties of twenty sixteen. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> it, come, it totally is. No good could come from that Gorgo pit. And Absolutely no good came. No good. No, no. Because uh, again, it's like they captured it so easily. I was like, this Gorgo isn't very threatening. Like, this it got scared by torches, didn't even shoot at it, and they have it already. That's, oh, this Gorgo's an infant. And they get the Gorgo yeah. chart. Yeah. 
they go they go they they, they show the gorgo they chart did, which is they amazing my, they did my favorite thing in any of these old movies they do them in all the old godzilla movies they find a monster and then they have some guy just pull out a big book of dinosaurs and point and go it's just like this it's this one it's this thing yeah it's this one it's like <laughs> i love how we, he points, we have knowledge of this immediately he like opens the book shows it at, at, at to the two guys and then points at the small one and says this is the gorgosaurus you have and then waits for effect and then points to the other and says this is mommy and then they, <laughs> they, they're like oh my god we gotta do something and holy shit are the dude they are proactive as hell in this movie <laughs> and it doesn't matter a fucking bit scramble the entire military yeah, this is such trouble entire military like not a not a single they don't fuck. even push the mom back one fucking time no not at all <laughs> they don't get her to stumble once they go around and to try to find her with planes and stuff and all they do is take notes like, oh, Gorgo's not here. Gorgo's was, not here. It was really funny because like two or three different occasions, they had like the army guy be like, oh, no, dude, it's fine. We've got uh, we've got the USS Royal Anne or whatever the name of the boat was looking for it. And then immediately gets a phone call being like, yeah, dude, sunk the whole boat. The whole yeah, thing just, just gone. destroyed it. Oh, dude, it's fine. We've got nets. Gets a phone call right away. Yeah, They're it's gone. through the nets. <laughs> we got, we got, we got support on the on the London Bridge. London Bridge just fucking gets falling down. Just tore destroyed. apart one of the oldest landmarks, like Matchwood. I think that's what he said. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking funny. I love, I love how when they see Gorgo on the shore, they're like, the "Okay, go. boys." throw a bunch of gasoline in the in uh, in like the Thames. It and probably hates fire. Dump. They just dump. <sighs> so much gasoline and oil and light it up and when they light it up there's just a couple of fucking dumbass kids right on the edge Who of all start the on pier. fire they all catch on fire <laughs> they all catch a flame it's so random there's no reason for them to get it, like to just fucking burst in flames they're like and chilling they at the pier smoking dubious blunts and then they look down at hot <laughs> gas fire oh and then all of them it, they explode the fire. It's so fucking random. And it's such a short, like, you see them, they look at the fire, they go, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then one of them is, like, on fire an instant later for three seconds, and then it cuts from <laughs> he them. Goes, he goes, bah! The amount of, like, quick cuts in this movie where I would look, and if I looked away for a second, I'd be flabbergasted immediately. Oh, yeah. I mean, this movie is incredibly short it's an hour long it's like an hour 10 they don't it's, waste any time they do not waste time i recommend like honestly i know we're like 30 minutes in our discussion but like go watch it dude it's so quick it's free on youtube it's free on youtube it's on tubi it's so easy to get you can get our commentary track to wink wink you know it, it, it's super readily available and it's a really fucking good time but the pace is just there's always something going on i fucking i love that about that this movie there's always something new happening and it's almost always oh, fucking stupid talk about the newscaster the ghost the ghost the caster ghost, the, <laughs> the ghost caster i love how many shots um like matted in basically like the amount of matting yeah. in then it's all obvious and i fucking love it when older movies are incredibly obvious with the green yeah. screen effects it's really funny because he he just looks like a ghost, and also he teleports a hundred percent fucking teleports. Sometimes he's larger and sometimes he's smaller. Gorgo's size goes all over. Yeah, you know. baby Gordo, Gorgo and big Gorgo were both like shifting constantly in size, which is fine. But sometimes baby Gorgo was like baby Gorgo was like as big as a coke can sometimes. He's super small. Next to, uh, next to, uh, oh, Mama especially Gorgo. near the end. That was nuts. It was kind of funny. His head kept disappearing on the mat. I don't know if it's keying back then. I feel like it's just literally matted out. They would just mat out stuff. I don't know because when you see, um, in the village attack, you actually see part of Gorg baby Gorgo's like leg is vanishing a bit because the color's not quite right on it. I don't know. No, it's like sort of transparent, which seems like it would be from some iffy keying. Like I have no idea how they would even do any do of that this back stuff then. Back, yeah, like in the sixties, this movie did uh, almost get nominated for an Oscar as well. Really? Uh, it was part of the twelve that were considered <clears throat> and ended up not going. Instead, it was like 
some other boring movie. I don't know. I really like the taglines as well. Uh, the tagline for this movie is, Neither bombs, bullets, jets, or rockets can stop Gorgo, but this little boy knew his secret. <laughs> okay, the, the first part <laughs> of the tagline was correct. The fuck are you what is the talking second part about? about? What is the secret? No, remember, he, he, he kept going, it's Orga, and everybody in unison would go, it's fucking Gorgo, you stupid idiot. Yeah, no, I mean, to be fair, he was a stupid idiot. That's not, it's not Gorgo. It was right that, yeah, no weapon could stop Gorgo. Completely true. <laughs> yes. They even tried two million volts. That's true. They tried two million volts. They tried to tase Gorgo. <laughs> they put Gorgo in the chair and they did nothing. It really is unstoppable. Like, nothing. Like, the, the last 20, 30 minutes even are just them trying something on Gorgo. It doesn't work. They try something else. It doesn't work. And eventually, Gorgo just saves saves the her her kid, and they fuck off. Gorgo just walks away, and then the credits. Roll. <laughs> the, the report is just like, and what a beautiful beast that was! What a wonderful, uh, yeah. what a wonderful creature <laughs> that God created, and uh, what a great. And the buildings are destroyed, and London has fallen, and Gorgo's just like, hey, back to the ocean. Hey. Ah, what a beautiful creature. Ah, there is more death than the Blitz. So many people fucking died by Gorgo's hand. Leaving the haunts of man. And leaving man himself to ponder the proud boast that he alone is lord of all creation. I'm David, Sir David Attenborough, and today we found the Gorgo. This is so fucking epic, so fucking cool. I would love to see Gorgo remake. I would. I would love. because like they're gonna put a. They bunch would put of filler. Yeah, they put in so much. Mom, uh, it's the movie's gonna start off like, Mom, you didn't pack my lunch. Oh, don't worry, honey, I got it for you. Mom, what's this Gorgo lunchbox you have? Uh, what you see? And then, I don't know, they do a bunch of weird 80s nostalgia. What? Be really <laughs> I mean, I guess. Uh, I actually, there was a sequel. I'm sorry. Ah! Really? Unofficial, but uh, yes. Gorgosity. Nah, it was, okay. So, in 2009, which is super weird to me that in 2009 somebody made this, there's a short comedy film called Waiting for Go or Go, which is a It's like parody. Waiting for Godot. Yeah. <laughs> and it's very, very very low budget basically all there is it's like it's like these two old men at the ministry of defense like dmoa i think it was called which was like the department against monsters of unusual size or something right <laughs> oversized animals the department against monsters and oversized animals uh -huh. and basically like it's just these two getting audited by a woman that works for the British government and they just, it's just like a comedy, I guess. I didn't find it funny though. I don't know. It was charming. Is Gorgo in it? <clears throat> no. They, they, it's like 20 minutes and the punchline is they're getting audited and it's like, oh, but, well, monsters aren't real. Monsters aren't real. And then they're like, well, if monsters aren't real and Gorgo was a movie, then explain this and they get they have a big claw that says gorgo on it and that's oh. the that's the punchline like isn't it that, fucked that, up that um that movie is called that short is called waiting for gorgo but there is a mystery science theater 3000 bit called waiting for gorgo where they are a uh, waiter talking to crow uh, and then Gorgo appears and attacks them is that real is that yeah, real yeah it, it is real actually cuz there's a gorgo episode of uh MST3K. Oh, so, oh my god. Every time we find something, MS Mystery Science the Theater is always on our ass. I mean, it was maybe based off of that, right? Uh, no, waiting uh waiting no, for No, I mean, Gorgo, I, I mean think. the title the the title from 2009 was maybe based oh, off yeah, of that. Oh, yeah, probably referenced uh yeah. a reference to that. I don't know. It's a it, it, it's an unofficial sequel. It's it's okay. It's whatever. It's low budget. There's not much to it. I feel really mean making f like because I want to be mean to waiting for Gargo because it's really boring and not funny, but also like be mean to it. I don't know. It's just me. It's just fucking boring. It's a bunch of British dudes talking about tea and fucking how Gorgo is not real and the whole joke is like Gorgo is not real. Monsters aren't real. And then at the end, it's like, oh, but they are. Okay. So I don't the know. opposite of the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. It's so boring. I don't know. There's nothing to it. But yeah, if you want to watch Waiting for Gorgo, I think it's probably 
readily available as well. Never mind, it's not. You have to buy it. Oh, mm. that's a shame. Mm. That's shocking. That's weird. That's weird. You get all of Gorgo, but not waiting for Gorgo. I, I do have some fun facts that we can run through real quick because I think some of these are really fucking funny. So, uh, Gorgo actually had a novelization. <clears throat> How do you novelize that? <laughs> Uh, you open up the shot book, at Gorgo. You open up the book and it says the Gorgo attacked the London. Yeah. In the novelization, apparently, because I could not find it anywhere, I couldn't find Gorgo anywhere, but apparently the writer decided to add a bunch of hardcore sex scenes. What? Let's go? With Gorgo? I, no, not with Gorgo. God, with the never fucking mind. Well, that's human. less interesting. Anymore. But weird. No, with the human. I mean, he just kind of added sex scenes apparently <laughs> in the in the fucking. <laughs> well, so, so it confirms the gay know. dads are gay dads then. Oh, oh, I wish that would be fucking funny. But yeah, no. Apparently, the novelization has a bunch of sex scenes, but I couldn't. I, I can't take this with a grain of salt because I couldn't. The only person I found that said that was on the special features. He had the book with him, and he said they added a bunch of sex scenes to the books which i think is really funny and uh also people are people this i'm not sure about because i can't find anything about this at all but i heard like a few times while researching that uh gene simmons of kiss his boots might be inspired by gorgo's design what, what? Fuck? i know i'm not I, and apparently it's People are saying like, oh, well, he's a huge fan of monster movies. I don't know if it's true. People say that it's true. I think it's interesting because they kind of do look like, like Gene Simmons boots do kind of look like Gorgo. What but a also sentence. like, <laughs> but also like, I don't know. It, it's, it, it might be a stretch that people, people have like, if he likes monster movies, then it's not a, wouldn't be a crazy stretch. I mean, this movie was hugely popular. Like, actually. Oh, this, wow. Those do look suspiciously yeah, no, like, like Gorgo. See? Yeah, no, they do look like Gorgo. But uh, no, Gorgo was actually, actually a huge, huge box office success. Gigantic movie in Japan. Gigantic movie in the US. And, and I mean, it, it was just huge everywhere. And I don't know what happened, but... I mean, I, I guess like between the 60s and current day, something happened and Gorgo is just not popular anymore, but it, you, it was a giant movie. The movie was made on a $625,000 budget back in the 60s. I would imagine it just drowned in all the Godzilla stuff. Oh, just probably. stuff that was more popular in the genre. But uh, it, it was so popular that it got like a comic book run that lasted five years, I think. And also, just in general, the budget for this movie was as much as King Kong 25 years later. Like Man. the first King Kong like was the same budget. It was one of the most successful monster movies of all time for a long time until... 2000s happened and then there was godzilla then there was um uh I'm, I'm talking about the godzilla remake that did do well technically in box office even though it fucking pu stinks uh cloverfield like just, just a bunch of movies came out monster movies and then gorgo got gorgon they knew that people wanted to see army shoot at the monster yeah you yeah, know the this movie was actually popular for a long time very interesting has the is this the most like thing attacks the town out of any movie we've seen? Oh, of course. I mean, like, this, this feels like by far the most. What happens? Probably. Gorgo attacks the town. The, Gorgo, Gorgo attacks, attacks the, town. the town. Then Gorgo attacks the city. Gorgo attacks London. Yeah. Gorgo attacks the little fishing harbor. So like, even eight eight legged freaks like tried to have characters, little arcs. This is just I mean, they didn't even then like. Spiders attack the town. They didn't really attack the town that much. They more they attacked totally the people. Attacked the town. No, they attacked the, the people out of that town. They, they the attacked the shit out of that town. Oh, they yeah, attacked they, they the attacked fuck the out of the town. the town. But the people are the town. The, the, the people are town is the where town. the people are. Yeah. <laughs> well, then Gorgo attacked the town real fucking hard. Yeah, he worst, did. Worse than the blitz, shit. some would say. Worst, I would, I would say that. I would say that. Why were those fishermen holding onto that barrel for so long in the opening scene? Oh, the red barrel? 
I don't thinking know about that. They keep like, and I like the, and that's what I was like really hyper fixated on is they kept like pushing it back down and then holding onto it for dear life. But then it kept yeah. falling and they kept like moving it back up into position. Yeah, they, Maybe they, they were going to do like a franchise of movies and the barrel was full of slush. Oh, <sighs> the no, barrel was, was full of gore. It was, it was full, full of gorgoyle. Gorgoyle. Yeah. Yeah. It was real. It is such a shame they never brought in the gar the gorgoyle. There was no gorgoyle. Gorgo didn't have a beam attack, and like I was really hoping that it would pop out like a pressure washer. Just I thought it would shoot water. Actually, that's why I thought it was going to pressure oh, shooting washer. Wa like pre he was yeah. going to pressure wash I London. <laughs> he was going to he was going to clean out the River Thames. Uh, well, because like, why can't you do the cheap with a suit? You put like a hose through it, and it goes. Psh, you have it shoot water out. Actually, that I mean, I'd be down for that. That sounds fun. That sounds super fun. Because we didn't know that like. Apparently, this had nothing at all, like zero Godzilla inspiration somehow. So it has, it has to have something it shoots. It has to have a beam or a fire or something. At one point, it does look like it's it, the claws are shooting missiles, which I think was the very funny. <laughs> very funny. Oh yeah, I like I like our head cannon where uh, where uh, Gorgo is part of the NRA, like one of the captains of the NRA or whatever. Oh, the, IRA. the IRA. 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 <laughs> IRA. <laughs> Two very different things. Am I fucking dumb, dude? Holy IRA is very shit. different. Yeah. Well, you release the movie. Ed, Chuck quite Yarla different. Is a uh, did we put a subtitle on there that says, "Does Gorgo is car bomb?" Does Gorgo <laughs> is car bomb? Dude, car, car, he doesn't even need to car bomb cars. He just needs to eat the cars. If you could give Gorgo a weapon, what weapon would you give Gorgo? I think that he would put a bunch of cars in his mouth and spit them out like watermelon seeds. Uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> like the nuts and bolts yeah. and just go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I, I would actually have him raise his arms up in every car within like a 10 block <laughs> radius explodes. <laughs> <laughs> why is Gorgo? Why are you both coming up with abilities that are car based around no, Gorgo? No, like <laughs> Go Gorgo can make fuel detonate by just like yeah, Gorgo electrifies the air or something. So it raises its arms, and goes ah, and then all the cars detonate. That way, <laughs> why? Why is that? Why the two million volts didn't do anything, or is that yeah? Oh, because they tried of the to electrify volts? Gorgo. Yeah, and that didn't work. Because oh. people go, you know, oh, Godzilla's about like you know Japan's and like the fear and the, how the bombs were dropped to them in the nuclear age. This is like, oh, this is, you know, the fear of the IRA, where Gorgo <laughs> raises his arms, everything explodes. This movie did come out at the start of the Troubles. Yeah. See, that's what I'm Though saying. Though it was a French-Russian director, not an Irish one. Or a British one. Yeah. They would never put Gorgo If it was a Paris. British one, they would have made it like, oh my god, that would could have been fucking crazy. If it was like, a, if it was like subtly villainizing the Irish. Oh, shit. <laughs> It would make this movie very fucking different. It would make it so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? A, what? A, they should change. Like, what, what was the? What was the IRA's fucking um uh the oh, tagline? Not tagline. Chuck Our day, Our day will, will come. come. They should have fucking changed his, his dream with come. his, day, his is day, day will. Yeah, his day is here. Oh shit, <gasps> Gorgo. Gor uh, Gorgo to his day is here. <laughs> <laughs> where they, where the, where they, oh my god, Gorgo to his day is here. You, Gorgo's you all that grown movie up. coming out by like 35 years if you want no. to villainize the IRA. <laughs> no, no, he's all grown up. Gorgo gets captured by the I IRA. They, they tarp him up with a bunch of like R IRA logos. <laughs> And then he goes up. around destroying London. They radicalize Gorgo. He takes revenge for, for the Cromwell shit and he burns down every roof in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I need to I need okay. Was it in the commentary? Did I say it or did I just think it where I thought, fuck, I want to see the reporter get huge and fight Gorgo? You no, I did not thought that. I wanted to say it. I wanted to say it. Issue number 19 of the Gorgo comic Shut books. up! No <laughs> goddamn way! Uh, does Issue he... number 19 of the Gorgo oh, comic books. Are you books. shitting me? A giant man fights okay, Gorgo. Okay, can we talk about the fact that <laughs> <laughs> this was part of a, <laughs> of a comic book uh, release called Very Good Comics. Very Good Comics book. <laughs> Gorgo yeah, versus right. man. Oh my god, yeah. What's this? A human as big as Gorgo? See the earth shattering battle as Gorgo meets <laughs> the world shaker. It's just the a comic dude. book is ninety four dollars if you want. Yeah, to they're rare. It. Yeah, that, the, the it's Gorgo, a very good comic. 
the <laughs> it says so Gargo right versus here. the world shaker yeah no these mo- the, uh, these comic books are actually pretty rare from what i gathered so I imagine they didn't print many in the first place. No, I mean, it was not a popular... It says 12 cents on the cover. They're going to charge me $100 for it. What the hell? They were not world. popular. They were not popular. Well, they were popular enough to like get a series, but not popular enough where it's like... Gotta get more of these Gorgos. You know. uh, if you get the Vinegar Syndrome uh, version of Gorgo, it does come with a PowerPoint of every Gorgo comic. Uh, with neat. like or like the scans and all that which is cool but also i don't want to read gorgo <laughs> <laughs> look at this face look okay you say I you don't want to read gorgo but i'm posting another comic cover look at that fucking face that mom is so happy oh she's such a happy mom i love I would that read gorgo <laughs> Look, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm going down the comic book rabbit hole now. Well, the, the real question no. was, we were wondering about like, whether or not Reptar was like Gorgo, more Gorgo inspired than Godzilla. He does look like Gorgo. Because Reptar looks a lot more like Gorgo than Godzilla. Except for the back spines, I guess. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, I'm going to post an image. Y'all ever hear about video games? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's, That's exactly fucking pose. awesome. <laughs> Uh, Gorgo oh, not doing the, uh, yeah, the control 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 delete pose. hands up pose. <laughs> I I need some. I, we need somebody to make that. Uh, I like hate that you one found meme. Gorgo Tim Buckley. I found we need Gorgo some, Tim Buckley. We need somebody to redraw Gorgo Tim Buckley. Have you heard about video games? <laughs> we don't need it. It's call, right there. Call to it's action. It's right there. I posted it. Call to action. Redraw the comic strip with Gorgo and another character of your choosing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> fucking. Uh, let, let let's pick for you because of uh, we're we're smarter than this you. Is badge dying um, the glue trap all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgo <laughs> getting badge out of the glue trap. <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you unstick something from a glue trap like? It's Gorgo. <laughs> it's Gor- Gorgo's just pulling on badge. Get out of there. Get out of there. They're friends. <gasps> They're dating. I, I realize that. Uh, hey, what's up with you, man? What? <laughs> I don't know. You knocked off my train of thought. <laughs> Clean off the rails. Oh, yeah, because because Badge was Irish, too, wasn't oh, he? Badge was or was Irish. he Scottish? Which was he? He was yeah, Irish. I he was Irish. Center yeah. ones. He was yeah. Irish. Yeah. Oh, my uh, God. They might canonically know each other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why would they know each other canonically? What do you because mean? Because Gorgo is near Ireland. Oh, there's gonna be a buddy cop movie. It's gonna be Badge and Gorgo. The I, buddy I cop. would. I like to think that he he was he would be like on his shoulder and just telling him like go fuck up those guys or whatever. What is after the extreme? Don't step in that big glue trap that the military laid <laughs> out for you. Glue trap. <laughs> To be fair, that would stop so many giant monster fights. Like, a just big glue put trap? A, yeah, what the fuck are they going to do? That's not a glue. Lot of things. It is a lot of glue. Matthew Small Broderick leaves out a big glue trap for Godzilla. That's a lot of glue. That's a lot of Dude, glue. You couldn't do that near me. I would start fucking huffing that glue. You could not glue trap me. I'd go fucking crazy you on it. Put glue near me, I hungry ass. <laughs> My hungry ass could I'd never get be so in a glue hungry. trap. Yeah. <laughs> I get so hungry. I keep eating hungry. all the glue. <laughs> yeah. We I'd can't catch un- Gorgo. He's stuck. eating all the glue. I call that shit tummy yummy. I don't call that shit glue. Go, 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 go. I'd be gulping that shit by the gallon. Be, I, I, I think like actually though, every fucking... You could stop any fucking threat in anything with a giant Brendan glue trap. question. I'm... Ooh. Yes. If you... I have, I have two... Um, you may choose. Yeah. What would you pitch for the plot line for why Gorgo would come back to destroy yet another town for a sequel? Or what kaiju do you think would be the funniest for Gorgo to fight? <gasps> You're gonna make me go deep into my fucking mind bank of Godzilla monsters. And that's why I gave that's why two questions. You may pick one. I, I wanna uh, say the funniest would be someone baby just Godzilla. captures baby Gorgo again. <laughs> just redoing it again in Paris yeah. this time. <laughs> Or they capture baby Godzilla and baby Gorgo. Mecha Gorgo. I want baby Godzilla because baby Godzilla is fucking disgusting. I hate baby Godzilla. That motherfucker's ugly as hell. His name's Manila. Come on. Yeah, man. Well, okay. I, g- hey, well, Billy, Manila would you be looks like I told a you that I have a little ugly. Manila figurine on the shelf Ew. behind me. <laughs> really? You could, I mean, it's, if you're gonna be lazy, <laughs> you I, could not. You could not have a Manila statue next to my hungry ass. I fucking eat it. <laughs> 
it's, it's because it's because I wanted the Ghidorah so one that was in the little pack. If you're gonna be lazy, you could have Goro versus Gorosaurus. Could do. Could, I I also have Gorosaurus on the shelf behind me. Yeah. Oh my god. Goro, Goro versus Gorosaurus would be really fucking confusing for everyone. It's I Goro want Mecha or... Gorgo. I want Mecha Gorgo so bad. Mecha Gorgo would be fucking awesome. I, Mecha Gorgo. I think it's time for for us to bring back Gorgo. I guess King Ghidorah could be a kind of funny fight too. No, he'd get his ass beat. Just like three heads versus one really stupid head. <laughs> <laughs> I just really, I just really like Gorgo. I think Gorgo has. Uh, they could do something with Gorgo. My perfect pitch for a Gorgo sequel, right? Two hour runtime. Okay, mm -hmm. all underwater. Baby Gorgo has grown up. The whole movie is Baby Gorgo fighting Mother Gorgo. <laughs> Why? The whole two hour underwater fighting. Uh, because, like, here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a billion dollars and I'm going to cast... Uh, James Cameron's filming this with no, no, no. I ha it, the The plan is I'm going to find the, the, the two people that I hate the most on this earth, which I haven't, like, determined yet, but by that point I'll have determined it, and then pay them a, a hefty amount of money to wear the Gorgo suits and fight each other underwater. It's going to be a horribly miserable experience for them, and that's the only reason I want the movie made you definitely need james cameron to direct it then because the abyss is like borderline murdering people james cameron is signed on for gorgo 2 back in action wow look at that it's a torture Would machine that'll kill the that. actors <laughs> not kill just give them the bends we call it the brands. <laughs> the in suits the have 20 seconds of air. The brands. I think it would be funny if Gorgo fought King Caesar. King Ooh. Caesar. Yeah. For a second, I thought you were talking about Caesar from uh, Planet of the Apes. Nah. From, like uh, Gorgo fights Andy Circus. This one. Ew. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why, what is that? It, it wears a crown and a is bikini. Is that from Destroy All Monsters? Uh, he's in Destroy All Monsters. He's in. Uh, okay. He's from Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. He's right. frumpy. He looks oh, frumpy. Yeah, yeah, that's why I want Gorgo to fight King Caesar. It looks like Badge. It no, he make, doesn't. It looks like it looks like if like Badge was a Power Rangers villain. Yes, I and was then got this. Oh, actually, their yes. monster form. Yeah, that's monster form Badge without a doubt. Oh my god! I wish Badge would exit my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was in fucking Alaska and like I got this buzz on my phone. I had brief signal and I was like, holy shit, like I got the signal I looked and it was just someone sent me an image of a fucking badge in the glue trap. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the same that we saw? I think it was. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was that image. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope you lost signal immediately after. I, yeah, I did. <laughs> I had enough to get badge in the glue trap and nothing else. I want oh, Gorgo no. to fight Godzilla, but specifically the Godzilla from Godzilla Land. Oh man! Oh god! You mean the little anime boy and the, an the anime one Godzilla that teaches you how to count to ten? Yeah, yeah. They, I, you know what? I'd love to see both of them count. Ah, uh, dude, Godzilla clears Gorgo in counting to ten and reading uh, katakana. You don't fucking know that. I've I have I have those saved. I've got them archived. I have. Five things teaching me how to count, but it's Godzilla. Godzilla and Godzilla never tried to fucking. He could Where do it. Where was I going with this? I don't fucking I don't know. know. He could Fuck do you. it. He could do it. I Play do basketball. like Godzilla and very. It's very cozy to watch, and I learned so much about counting to ten. You've never seen Godzilla and. Yeah, I did. You fucking. You showed it to me. We were watching it together, <laughs> dumbass. You oh, were yeah. drunk as hell, and you were like, "Yo, check this shit out." And then we learned counting. <laughs> Fucking toddler coded That's fucking bitch. awesome. I didn't know I did that. I like the Reptar. <laughs> Reptar, I, I want to know. Reptar based off... Was based Reptar's based off Godzilla. I looked. Oh, yeah. Halt. I am Gorgon. I am Archer, leader of the Gorgonites. Oh, shit. That actually be a pretty good crossover, too. It's a small soldier. Actually, Gorgo fucking, versus fucking the Gorgonites. Gorgo 2. Big soldiers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo. Finally. Does Reptar have like vomit breath or what? Like a Reptar. Death he has laser vision. Okay, he has laser vision. Or at least the right. toy in the store that went back in time had laser vision. His fire yeah, breath. Yeah, because they, they like. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, he did. Oh, he has fire breath? Reptar has fire breath. I know this. I thought it was laser vision because they might have, might have had, both, like, honestly. Might have both. Dependent. I am Reptar. Hear me roar. Halt, I am Reptar. Alt, I am Reptar. If the monkeys want the nanners, I'll give them the nanners! Holy shit. <laughs> okay. I remember Tommy Pickles You're delivering it like a wrestling unhinged. intro. <laughs> I, I have that in my head like 24-7. <laughs> I'll give them the... 
The line about the nanners and the apes? <laughs> but yeah. At least once a week I'm thinking about it. I don't know why. <laughs> You know how, like, they ask guys, like, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? You think about the nanners? Like, Pretty often. I think about if the monkeys want the nanners. <laughs> That's oh, your Roman Empire. Nanners. <laughs> You're God not bless. fucking okay. I'm not okay. I'm raw dog in life. I'm not worried Look about it. Look at this picture I found of Reptar smoking weed. Oh, fuck that right. Reptar smoking weed. It looks like he's smoking himself. It's like the same Ooh. green. I'm typing Would in Reptar. I found even better. Look at this. Reptar cabbage. How's he smoking? <laughs> oh he's smoking Tommy he's smoking Pickles. Tommy Pickles. He's oh, on pickle pickle pack. Oh, dude, this is awesome. I I hope that everybody on the podcast, lo- like listening right now, just uh, go on Google and type in Reptar smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> What a Tell fucking you found. Oh my god, dude. I found the most miraculous piece of what? glass. Mm. The Mirac- most miraculous piece of oh, glass. Reptar oh bong. my god. Reptar bong. bong. No god. Yo, it looks <laughs> actually kind of fucking incredible. It looks sick as hell. Rept- and that's honestly, in, that's I'm incredible. Be real. I typed in reptar bong. There are a billion different reptar oh my, bongs. Yeah, wait. I'm looking Why at it right so now. Why are there so bongs? many? I don't know. But there dude, is a bong of Tommy Pickles in a Reptar outfit. Why are there so many Reptar oh bongs? Oh my god, are you kidding? Why are there so many Reptar bongs? They Holy shit. just fucking legalized smoking weed in my state. I'm getting a Reptar bong. Oh, I love this little <laughs> Reptar pipe. Was like Reptar the big bong thing with Rick and Morty? Uh, how, how, how did this happen? I don't, I don't know. know. Holy shit. There is just a miraculous I, I, amount I, of I, Reptar bongs. <laughs> Well, that's a really that's such a specific thing. I oh, up, Tom, I keep opening I just, the box. Okay, I just I just saw Tommy in a reptar suit bong, yeah, and yeah. his butthole his is butthole the. Um, is, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow! Wow! <laughs> hey man, Lassie! Holy shit! Uh. This took a fucking turn. Oh, is it because when you're smoking weed, you're getting ripped? R. <laughs> Oh, Reptar, oh, Reptar, oh, Gorgo. Reptar, Gorgo attacks London. Is there a Gorgo, Gorgo bong? Attacks, dude, Gorgo attacks my fucking lungs with that <laughs> schnar, dude. I am so I heartbroken. There's not crazy. a Gorgo bong. <laughs> Can you imagine someone offering you a hit with a Gorgo bong? <laughs> I would love to get a hit off the Gorgo bong. I just found Donald Duck with two Uzi's bong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Holy shit! That's it. I'm Googling the bomb. I'm Googling uh, Mr. Tumnus Bong. Mr. <laughs> Tumnus Bong? Talk about oh, the fucking shit. Talk about the fucking fawn oh, from Narnia. Fuck. It's the I'm flute. I'm crying, it's, dude. It's his flute as a bong. Oh, I thought you wanted Mr. Tumnus himself as the I bong. I did. I did. That's why I'm sad. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck? I want to see if there was Mr. Tumnus Bong. Oh my god, what the fuck? You know that one thing where it was like, oh, type your name the echidna in Google and... (laughs) Yeah, no, type your name name the hedgehog. Hold on. (laughs) Billy the Bong. Oh shit, there's a bunch of Billy Bongs. (laughs) Oh yeah, because there's the Billabong brand too. So fucking. Oh, lame. that's these probably normal, why. These are just normal bongs. Oh my god! This is just I'm... a picture of Laramie Tunsil smoking uh, weed out of the <laughs> gas mask bong that made him fall in the draft. Dude, I'm fucking crying. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. I, one, one last contribution. We need to get uh, off the bong topic. Yeah, we need, we need to, get to get back get on the There's way, there's way too many funny really ones. Good one. But there's guys, so guys, many good guys, ones. guys, holy guys. shit! Yeah, bong gaffet. Oh my god. <laughs> you can buy those. Oh, Brendan, oh, those are bong. nightmares. You can oh, buy those on Etsy. <laughs> this fucking sucks for- nightmares. <laughs> the audio version of this is going to like take <laughs> a fucking like nosedive. Okay. Well, it's something like, oh, I've heard about this lizard movie, and then just people screaming at bombs they're fighting. Gorgo attacks London. Okay, okay. I have, I have last one. one more. I have Actual one more. Last one. I'm fuck, closing. Fuck. I'm closing Google. I, okay, last one. Last yeah. one. What the fuck? That is so awful. That is the what? most unappealing art style uh, I've seen in my entire oh life. My is that a jug of hot mustard? What is Gorgo that? Gorgo attacks so London. Rough. Gorgo attacks London. What is, the, what is that a jar of? I Why also need Peter to know. Griffin have the prison tattoos? Oh, he killed somebody. See, look, he has a tear. Oh my what God. is it a jar of? I don't know who Marge loves because it only, her, her shoulder just says, I love. There's That's like so no, deep. That's so deep. 
It's so deep. Oh my god, Gorgo attacks the town. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> Gorgo attacks London. If I see a Gorgo bong in the next few months, I'll be so disappointed. Oh my god. Do we have any bong bong any audience? Glass blowers who any want to glass make a Gorgo any, bong audience? Our audience, there has to be one that's just a bomb art bong artisan. Bomb artist? Bong artisan. Because <laughs> hey, Gorgo is car bomb? Because <laughs> Gorgo is car bomb? Gorgo Fuck. joins the Irish Republican army. Okay, we gotta move on. What do you... Uh, so, cool versus art. Cool. cool. Extremely cool. cool. Very cool. cool. Very cool. Not I was tough gonna, at all to decide. It is just cool. I, I was gonna go art, but the thing is... Really? Art died. Uh, yeah, but th because the thing is, I think it came from a place that is very, very pure and, like, it art arty, I guess? Like, artsy? This dude was doing something for his kid... And he wanted it to be like no violence and have a happy ending. And, and like, you know, instead there was lots of violence instead, and the happy ending is the monster gets <laughs> away with it. A, bu <laughs> a bunch of apparent Hollywood criminals came in and said, fuck your vision, add more cool parts. And uh, that was I think the right that's, choice. That's where we are. That's where we are. If I was to recommend this been? movie to my friends, I'd say Gorgo is like hereditary for kaiju fans. <laughs> I thought it was like four and a half men for seen monster hereditary. movies. But it's like, if there was no violence, what would, what would Gorgo do the whole movie? I don't know. I feel like it might Smoke be... Smoke weed, obviously. I mean, who, we couldn't tell. Apparently, before passing away, Lurier actually had a version of... Um, he had a version of the movie that was cut like he wanted it to. Oh. But we're never going to be able to see it. Apparently, there's no violence in it. No guns, and it's only Gorgo. Only Gorgo, baby. The Gorgo cut. The Gor the yeah, bring back the Lurier cut of uh, Gorgo. Focusing exclusively on him. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. I like it. I would recommend everybody have a have a go. It's like an hour long, and it's a good time. Free on YouTube. Free on YouTube. It's on Tubi. It's on Full Moon's streaming service, which I think is hilarious. Watch everyone shoot at a lizard. This was also voted by uh, patrons. So if you're interested really? in voting on the... Yeah. There was yeah. a demand for Gorgo. <laughs> there was a demand for Gorgo. See, that's what I thought. I, was, I, I, I put up Gorgo and I thought in my head, there's no way anybody would vote for Gorgo. Lo and fucking behold, Gorgo's got fucking reach. Gorgo's got power. People love Gorgo. It was between Gorgo, Critters 4, and Stay Alive. When's the demand for Freddy Fazbear? I will or, never, or, or, I will or, never or, do, or, or, we will or, never or. do that. I'm, There's I'm, so I much demand. I, I get asked in my Twitch I get chat asked once a or, week. Or, 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 I get or. asked yeah. as well every fucking, not every day, but I want to do days. one, but Billy says no. I so. hate I would I also be it. up for it. Well. Billy. <laughs> let's make it a sub goal, 75,000 subs. <laughs> Yeah, get no, your I'm, grandma to I'm watch Pondering get, right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. I'm not doing this. I don't want to fucking watch that movie. I'm putting a fucking goal for like, we'll see you in 20 years when we reach that. They're cool. They have cool Henson puppets. 75,000 cool subs. That's 10,000 subs. Hussers you can do it. A lot. Yeah, he's so sleepy. And he's like, such a sleepy bitch. You are the one from my not dreams. Not as sleepy as I am thinking about doing a video about that fucking movie cranky because it's the number one horror box office this year ain't you isn't it like blumhouse's biggest movie ever i think at least for an opening i'm not i wouldn't be surprised i, th I think it's the it number is. one domestic grossing this year for horror movies and that's like including a nice version of floating around on discord and like peacock streaming oh yep. and God, it's I'm still vomit. making fuck loads i'm gonna vomit i'm so upset there's so much good stuff this year too. Freddy Fest beer. Uh, whatever. <laughs> what if he I'm, was? I'm fast? a bitter. I'm a bitter fuck about this movie. I'm, I'm glad for it because I mean, hey, good, they, good they for, made puppets. Henson Company going strong. Yeah, sure. Like after Dark Crystal went bye bye. It. I think it's good modern schlock. I enjoyed it. I thought it was. Funny. I'm glad that people have their thing. I just think that there's so much better out there. Like. so so much better. To be fair, at least it means we won't get more Willy's Wonderland bullshit knockoffs. Oh, thank fuck. Now that, now that it finally got an official movie. No, I'm just waiting for the Asylum rip. I'm really excited about if Asylum rips oh. it. It's happening. Either, I it's actually gonna feel be kind of nauseous thinking Willy's Wonderland. It's going to be either Asylum or Full Moon. It's it's always one of, one of, one of the... Whichever they get the showbiz fucking... pizza bear license. 
Yeah. Imagine if somebody actually got the Showbiz Pizza Bear license and then well, Rich Evan pops up halfway into the movie. Well, there was that short on a Hulu that had the actual Showbiz Pizza Bear was like evil and bites someone. But they, they painted the Showbiz Pizza oh, the Bear animatronic. Yeah, the hug. The hug. Yeah. Because that's literally the Showbiz Pizza Bear. They just painted him like white or something. So he looks like a panda. No, I'm talking about somebody with the official license, though. Oh, yeah. But I'm saying the closest we have is you can watch right now. The showbiz pizza bear kill a child. You could see, you could watch that on Hulu immediately. All right, we got to end this. Thanks for <laughs> watching. In December, there's no voting for you guys because in December, we're going to be doing a Christmas horror movie. We're going to be doing Santa's Sleigh. I love Starring Goldberg. Goldberg. Oh, fuck. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Brendan's going to pop out so hard in the wrestling hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. yeah. So we're going to do that. And then, uh, we'll, I don't know. We'll see you then. I don't fucking know. Go buy some merch. We put out some pins. Uh, screw you. I don't know why I got so mean. <laughs> it's because <laughs> the FNAF end. talk. Hey, thanks so much for listening. This episode would not be possible without the help from our patrons, such as Alan Diver, Art of Ogden, Bure, Bland But Funny, Boopooloo, Caffeine Addicted Chemist, She's Dreams, Chris Chapman, Dasul Burt, Delling City, Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, DX Studios, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Generic Phoenix, Handsome Destiny, Hater 115, John Requires Lasagna, Kawaii Boy Toy, Leo the Geotech, Loudon Woodworth, Mr. Shirt, Random Diamonds, Rocco Man, Smeet Mono, Spherical May, Teague, The Frost Ace, The Snack Slottle, Winnie Rab, and Will 9455. We hope you didn't poop poop your little diaper with fear uh, this episode and we'll see you next oh, dude that sucked we'll, we'll, I'll, we'll just see you next time man good god <laughs>